Hello YouTube, Sharps1874 with a non-firearm but firearm related video. So what I have here, something that was given to me when I was, I don't know, 8 or 10 years old by my grandfather. This is a bayonet and I've done a little bit of research on it. It does have matching serial numbers on the scabbard. You may not be able to see that, but on the uh, so on the bayonet itself and on the scabbard, matching serial numbers. This is a French Gross bayonet, and if. Uh, we can see what this says. It says manufactured arms in Saint uh, Saint Etienne, the uh, the arm factor, uh, arms manufacturer of, uh, of Etienne, in August of 1879. So we'll look a little bit. Uh, this is kind of let's see if we can see how this works. There's a piece of spring steel here that uh, engages the, uh, the bayonet lug and it you just get some close-ups of of this some of these are out there where they've blunted the points um, for use of training, but um, this is this is the real deal. Nothing's been modified on this. Um, in looking at this, I mean, for uh, for the 1800s, I think this is really well done. These two little pins right here. And this is going to be really hard to see, but if you look down inside the, uh, uh, it's going to be really hard to. To see, but there are two pieces of spring steel, and you can just barely see it. Well, anyway, there are two pieces of spring steel, one on each side, so when you put the bayonet in place, it holds it in place, it's not going to come out. And I don't know if that uh, it probably would you can see that it starts rubbing right right there and rubs the entire length but um, <clears throat> so this fits on the, the the gross rifle manufactured starting in 1874 through um, into the um, 1880s uh, the Greeks used them for a while it was a single, um, single shot uh, metal cartridge rifle, and um, I hope to be picking one up here in the next little bit. But um, this is the bayonet that fits on it. Now, the rifles of that era still had a ramrod on the bottom side of the the rifle, so this actually attached on the side. So your rifle barrel is sitting right here, and this slid down. On the side, on the bayonet lug, on the side of the rifle, locked into position, and this is ready to go. As I as I said, this was the last of the French sword bayonets, and you, you can see that if you needed to use this for a weapon other than um, uh, this could be used in hand-to-hand -hand combat, even just for uh, for sticking somebody. But remember, you're seeing it's a single shot rifle. You have to reload. Um, it was a bolt action, the Gross, the 1874 Gross, but uh, bolt action. Anyway, thought this might be interesting to you. I've seen a lot of people online who have sore uh, bayonets similar to this, wondering what it is. Uh, there's a number of different manufacturers, but again, if you want to take a look, it tells you exactly who made it and when. A, the military version had the date, 
the non-military version, they made it, they made these commercially available. If the date is not on there, it is not a military bayonet. It was done commercially for anyone to buy. So here's the real deal. I'm Sharps1874. I thought you might like to know.